just a shock to our systems, but to animals as well. In fact, nearly 100 turtles had to be rescued from the cold water over on Florida's east coast. And some of them are headed right here to the Florida Aquarium. Workers there have tanks and blankets all ready to warm those turtles up. They say the animals are so used to our tropical temperatures, they just cannot take the freezing cold water. They get what's called cold stunned, and it kind of sends them into a little bit of a shock situation, and they cannot deal with that. So they need a little assistance to get them through the cold so they can be released again. Bay News 9's Jason Wheeler shows us what it takes to rescue those turtles. It's getting crowded at Ponce Inlet's Marine Science Center. The sea life along the coast is not handling the cold well, but lucky for them, the staff and volunteers here are ready to help. Ten green sea turtles are here, shocked by the cold water. They are just a handful of the more than 100 sea turtles rescued in neighboring Brevard County. Rescue and rehabilitation facilities all across the entire state of Florida are rushing here to pick up the turtles they can to nurse them back to health. They become uh, very lethargic, they go into a topper, wind up floating, bobbing at the surface. Uh, they're a danger and risk from not only hypothermia, but then also being struck by a boat. Across the Ponce Inlet campus, crews are working on saving seabirds. Pelicans pack the place now with nearly 15 coming in this past week alone. One pelican alone eats about two pounds of fish a day and they take up a lot of uh, cage space in the clinic. Um, being underweight, we need to keep them inside. Um, because of this cold, it's really hard on them. Say we got a sudden miraculous warm up. While you or I may be relieved, the effects of the cold on the sea life would go on for quite some time. They develop chronic issues, very much like with people, the way that they get an exposure, upper respiratory infections. So you'll see nasal discharge, runny noses. Uh, For these turtles, there is no quick fix. It takes about two to three days to slowly get their body temperatures to a safe level. Only then can they be checked to see if they're seaworthy again. Jason Wheeler, Bay News 9. Eleven of those turtles will be treated at the Florida Aquarium. Workers there plan to keep a close eye on them, taking x-rays and blood samples. Once it warms up, though, they'll be released back to their natural habitat. The Clearwater Marine Aquarium is also getting some of those turtles.